When it comes to the scale of celestial objects, planets in our own solar system provide a sense of familiarity. Jupiter, our neighborhood's heavyweight champion, feels large. But venture beyond our solar system and you'll find planets that make Jupiter look modest. Enter the world of Super Jupiters. These are exoplanets, planets located outside our solar system that boast masses exceeding that of Jupiter. Some of them, like HD 100546b, hold up to 13 times Jupiter's mass. The sheer size and volume of these planets are difficult to comprehend. With vast atmospheres primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, their swirling cloud bands and tumultuous weather systems might span wider than entire continents here on Earth. Yet size isn't the only fascinating aspect of these colossal worlds. A subset of these super Jupiters, known as rogue planets, defies conventional understanding of how planets should behave. They do not orbit any star. Instead, these rogue planets wander the vastness of space alone, without a sun to illuminate their skies. Imagine a planet, massive beyond comprehension, drifting in the inky blackness of space devoid of sunlight. Their existence challenges our traditional notions of planet formation and asks more questions about the diverse ways celestial bodies can come into existence. Moreover, the gravity on these super Jupiters would be intense, many times stronger than what we experience on Earth. This immense gravitational pull can lead to intriguing and bizarre phenomena. For instance, these planets might have layers of metallic hydrogen deep within their interiors, Hydrogen compressed under such extreme pressures that it behaves like a metal. In the hunt for extraterrestrial life, these supermassive planets also present new possibilities. While their gas-dominated nature might make them inhospitable for life as we know it, their potential moons, subjected to the planet's strong gravitational forces, could harbor subsurface oceans kept warm by tidal forces. Such environments could potentially be cradles for life, presenting a scenario where the most massive planets, even in their hostility, could indirectly nurture pockets of life. All in all, Super Jupiters embody the wonder and diversity of our universe, challenging our understanding and stretching the limits of what we once thought possible in planetary formation and behavior. In the vast cosmic theater, stars take center stage, illuminating the universe with their brilliance. But among these luminous bodies, a particular group stands out, not just for their light, but their sheer size, the supermassive stars. While our sun is often considered a standard reference for stellar sizes, it pales in comparison to the behemoths known as supermassive or hypergiant stars. These are not just larger, they are incomprehensibly vast. Stars like UY Scuti, one of the largest known, extend for more than 1,700 times the Sun's radius. If placed in the center of our solar system, it would engulf the orbits of planets up to and beyond Jupiter. The lives of these hypergiants are turbulent and short-lived, at least in astronomical terms. Born from massive clouds of gas and dust, these stars burn bright but burn out quickly. Their enormous sizes mean they have an abundance of fuel, but they consume it voraciously. Within a few million years, a mere blink in cosmic time, these stars exhaust their fuel and meet dramatic ends. And it's not just their size that's impressive. The internal processes of these stars are equally fascinating. Due to their vast masses, the pressures and temperatures in their cores reach levels unimaginable in smaller stars. These extreme conditions facilitate the fusion of heavier elements turning hydrogen into helium and progressing through the periodic table, creating elements like oxygen, carbon, and even metals like iron. Yet this grandeur comes at a price. The more massive the star, the more unstable its life. Many supermassive stars undergo periods of intense pulsations, causing them to eject vast amounts of material into space. This constant tumult makes their surfaces boil and roil with massive convective cells each one many times larger than our entire sun. Their demise is as spectacular as their lives. Once the fuel in their cores is expended, they can't support their immense gravitational pull, leading to a spectacular supernova explosion. These explosions scatter the heavier elements formed within the star out into space, seeding the universe with the building blocks for new stars, planets, and even life. In the end, the legacy of supermassive stars is twofold. They illuminate the cosmos with their unparalleled brilliance, and in their death throes they give back, ensuring the cycle of stellar birth and rebirth continues, 
In their enormity and intensity, they embody the dynamic, ever-evolving nature of the universe. Imagine a region in space where gravity pulls so much that even light can't escape its grasp. That's the essence of a black hole. But beyond the standard black holes, there are entities so massive and awe-inspiring that they defy comprehension. The supermassive black holes. These cosmic giants are often found at the centers of galaxies including our own Milky Way. Unlike stellar black holes, which form from the remnants of massive stars, supermassive black holes contain millions to billions of times the mass of our Sun. Their origins are still a subject of debate among astronomers. Some theorize they form from the accretion of masses over eons, while others suggest they might originate from the collapse of immense gas clouds early in the universe's history. The gravitational influence of supermassive black holes is so powerful that they can dictate the dynamics of their host galaxies. Around them swirl accretion disks, vast rings of gas, dust and other cosmic debris pulled in by the black hole's immense gravitational force. As this material spirals closer to the event horizon, the point of no return, it heats up and emits intense radiation, often observable as quasars, some of the brightest objects in the universe. This intense gravitational pull also influences the paths of stars orbiting near them. Observations of stars at the center of our Milky Way have provided indirect evidence of the presence of a supermassive black hole named Sagittarius A asterisk. These stars whip around at such high velocities that only the presence of a massive, dense object like a supermassive black hole could cause such behavior. Yet for all their might and influence, supermassive black holes remain enigmatic. Their event horizons are shrouded in mystery beyond which our current understanding of physics breaks down. Within this boundary, all known laws of nature become unpredictable. It's a realm where our current understanding of space and time no longer applies, a true frontier of human knowledge. One of the most groundbreaking discoveries related to these entities was the capturing of the first ever image of a black hole silhouette by the Event Horizon Telescope in 2019. This image, a glowing ring surrounding a dark central region, was a visualization of the supermassive black hole at the heart of the galaxy M87, located 55 million light-years from Earth. The study of supermassive black holes is more than just a quest to understand these mysterious entities. It's a journey to the very edges of our understanding, a probe into the extremes of the universe, and a testament to the insatiable human curiosity about the cosmos. Deep within the vast expanse of the universe lie remnants and echoes of its very beginnings. These ancient signals offer tantalizing glimpses into the earliest moments after the Big Bang, allowing us to piece together the cosmic puzzle of our universe's infancy. When we talk about the universe's ancient echoes, the cosmic microwave background CMB, radiation stands out prominently. Detected for the first time in 1965, the CMB is a faint glow that fills every corner of the cosmos. Imagine it as the afterglow of the universe's explosive birth, a snapshot of what the universe looked like when it was only 380,000 years old. At this time, the universe was a hot soup of particles, and as it expanded, it cooled down, allowing protons and electrons to combine and form neutral hydrogen atoms. The photons that had been scattered by these free particles could now travel freely through the universe. These very photons are what we detect as the CMB today. The CMB provides a treasure trove of information. Tiny fluctuations or ripples in this radiation, which represent minute differences in temperatures, offer insights into the initial conditions of the universe and the seeds for the formation of galaxies and large-scale structures. These temperature variations are like footprints indicating regions of varying densities in the early universe. Delving deeper into the ancient cosmos, we find relics like Population the Three Stars. While no direct observation of these first-generation stars has been made, they are believed to have formed a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Composed almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, these behemoths were much larger and hotter than stars today, living fast and dying young in spectacular supernovae explosions. The debris from these explosions went on to seed subsequent generations of stars with heavier elements, setting the stage for the complex cosmic dance that led to galaxies, planets and eventually life. In our quest to understand the universe's origins, we also study the distribution of galaxies, clusters and cosmic voids. 
By mapping these vast structures, scientists can trace back the gravitational forces at play in the early universe, shedding light on the mysterious dark matter that binds these cosmic entities together. As our instruments become more advanced and our observations more precise, we edge ever closer to unraveling the secrets of the universe's early days. Each discovery, from the faintest radiation to the most distant celestial object, adds another piece to the intricate tapestry of our cosmic history, reinforcing our connection to the ancient universe and our place within its vastness. In the realm of cosmic phenomena, gravitational waves have emerged as an intriguing subject of study. These ripples in space-time, akin to the ripples created when a stone is thrown into a pond, have revolutionized our understanding of some of the universe's most violent and enigmatic events. Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of gravitational waves in 1915 as a part of his groundbreaking theory of general relativity. Simply put, when massive celestial objects like black holes or neutron stars accelerate or collide, they create waves that propagate at the speed of light through the very fabric of space-time itself. However, due to their incredibly faint nature, it took a century after Einstein's prediction for us to detect them directly. In 2015, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, made a monumental breakthrough. They observed gravitational waves emanating from the collision of two black holes, approximately 1.3 billion light-years away. This detection was not just a testament to human engineering and perseverance, but also opened a completely new window to observe the universe. Instead of just using light, as with telescopes, we now had the capability to listen to the universe's vibrations. With gravitational wave detection, we've gained a powerful tool to study events that were previously hidden from our view. For instance, the merging of neutron stars, which was detected in 2017, not only produced gravitational waves, but also emitted light, radio, and gamma rays. By analyzing both gravitational waves and electromagnetic radiation, Scientists gathered invaluable information about these stellar smash-ups, the kind of metals produced in the collision, and more insights into the universe's expansion rate. Further, gravitational waves hold the potential to let us peer even deeper into the universe's history. There's a hope, albeit a challenging one, to detect waves from supermassive black hole mergers or even echoes from the Big Bang itself. As technology advances and new observatories join the hunt, the dawn of multi-messenger astronomy, where we combine different signals from space, will undoubtedly lead to more groundbreaking revelations about the cosmos.